In this video we will be covering something known as a squeeze page but on Wix.com it is known as Lightbox. So you can take a Lightbox, you can post it on any specific page that you want. The first thing you want to do is to add a Lightbox to your page. So to do this it is pretty simple. So let's go and start to create Lightbox and add it to our website. So the thing is that you have to do is press on add now you have all kinds of different things you can add but you have to go all the way down where it says Lightbox. And now you have a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. So pick a theme that looks pretty good and looks excellent as your squeeze page. And then what you can do is to modify it. So we'll use this one. It looks very nice and it has those funky looking sunglasses to them. Let's press on that. That is the first thing you have to do is to press on it. Next thing you want to do is just to change things that you see in the white box itself. So you can change the size of it. You can change the text. You see you can move the text around as well. So let's change the text right here. Just double click on it. Different font sizes that we can use. We can use different fonts as well. If you don't like the fonts that we have, we can use other ones too. We can go and animate it by pressing animate and here when you press on it the font itself is going to just pop in by expanding. You can press on none. Or we can use this whole light box itself and animate it. So when it just comes in it looks like this. Isn't that cool? And there's all kinds of different effects that we can pick for and the fade in and you can just press on a video sometimes and to see what it actually does. So pick the one you like the most. I like this one. I just picked it and I press on X. Now next thing is what we want to do is to manage the white box itself. So let's press on manage white box. Here is the second white box I actually have and we are pressing on this button right here. And now we are pressing on setting or you can press on manage white box. It's almost the same thing. Now pressing on setting it lets me have this choice which is automatically display white box on pages. So we have to click on yes if you want it to display right away automatically. And now what we can do next is to choose a page that we want the white box to actually appear. So let's use the Etsy one. That's the one I want it to appear. Now after you create the white box and now you have a few delays of how many seconds it takes before it actually shows up on your screen. Next thing you want to do is to press on preview. You can see exactly how it's going to look like on my website. Another thing that I highly suggest for you to do is to link it. So let's go back to the editor itself and now we're going back to the white box. So press on home, press on the white boxes, press on this one that we just created and next thing we can do is continue to site. We're pressing on that. We are pressing on the link. And here we can do a web address. So we can directly link this to a specific web address. So we can either link it to a specific page and we can just choose the page right here. Let's go link it to the Etsy page. We can link it to an email. So we can just go and send people to send me an email. Phone number, there's all kinds of different things we can do. So that is an example of how you can use the Lightbox tool. Now, after you made all this work on the white box itself, and let's say for example you totally dislike it, let's go back to the white box, and here it says, hey you, and I don't like it anymore. I decided I don't want it. So let's go press on this button right here, press on delete, and now it says, are you sure you want to delete the white box promo? Yes, I do. So we can press on delete, and it's going to be all gone. So now, it is your job to go and create your own white box. So go ahead, go and create one and see you in the next video.